Hi, my name is Tenjapala and I'm here to say a few words about The Burning House by Shanti Garba. Uh, this book is an excellent book for anyone who is interested in inner and outer change. I mean, both of those are really needed at the moment. Shanti Garba has a lot to say about these two subjects. Thank you to Shanti Garba and to Wintour's Publications for, for writing and publishing this, this excellent book. Uh, one of the first things that Shanti Gaba does in this book is talk about the climate and ecological emergency as a new kind of suffering in the world, what he calls a fifth sight. The Buddhist tradition talks about the four sights, uh, the first three sights being the sights that the Buddha to be before he was enlightened encountered in the world old age, sickness and death, and saw as the problem to be overcome. He then saw a fourth sight, which was a holy man wandering. And he thought, maybe, maybe that tells me a little bit about the way. And he talks about the climate and ecological emergency as a fifth sight, a new kind of suffering that we need to be able to respond to. Uh, I think Shantigawa's experience in de-escalation in Extinction Rebellion really comes through in this book. Uh, there's a lot in there to, for climate activists and for concerned already uh, practicing Buddhists alike in terms of being able to work with one's own emotional and mental responses to the climate emergency in terms of uh, judgmental thinking and anger and grief, uh, as well as working out how we bring that into an active response to what is surely an emergency. I, I really wish this book had been written about 20 years ago, uh, back when I was first encountering, coming to grips with uh, the truth of Buddhist teaching and the Dharma and the reality of climate change and trying to trying to see how they two, the two could I had a sense that, that that one would surely inform the other and this book does a really really good job of telling us how that can be I hope that's helpful